Hi everyone, I'm Alan. Today I'm gonna show you how to deploy a SvelteKit app with Svelte 5 on DigitalOcean Apps platform. Please keep in mind that I will leave link in this video description with free 200 US dollar credit for new users on DigitalOcean. Let's start with creating a SvelteKit project. Let's go. So first thing we need to do, we open our terminal and type in npx sv create. I will put dot in it to select this current folder. We will have minimal version. We will not use TypeScript this time. And we will use Tailwind and SvelteKit adapter. And that's it for now. We will not choose any of these. Press enter and for the app data, we select node. As our package manager, we chose npm. So once we all are set, we head to the package JSON and add start command. And basically that's it. So next thing we need to do, we will create our repository on GitHub. So go to your GitHub dashboard and click create repository. I will call it Svelte kit do and set it as private. Once the repository is created, we can follow these instructions. Let's copy the commands. We will not add readme file, but we must but we will add just dot to include all files. We will copy the first commit. Now we will set our branch. Now we will set our origin. And now we will push our code to GitHub repository. It looks like everything went successful. Let's check our uh, GitHub dashboard. Everything looks just as expected. So next thing we need to do, we head to our digital ocean dashboard. So once we are in, we can select this uh, create button and choose app platform. And this is where all magic happens. DigitalOcean lets us select our repository from GitHub and automatically deploys our app. So let's add our GitHub account. Now we need to grant access for our repository. So we'll select all. Now, when this is done, we can select our newly created repository and we will leave auto deploy on. That means every time we push changes, it will auto deploy our app to production. So click next. Okay, right now DigitalOcean applied some auto configuration for our app for $24 a month. We don't need that. We want for 5 euros. So next thing we need to do, we need to make some changes. So now we have to go to size section and click edit. Let's select $5 a month. So we can already see that our total cost for month will be $5. So if you scroll down, we can make some additional changes. We can rename our app. Let's call it Svelte and choose different region if we need that. I will leave at Frankfurt. So one important thing is that we can set app level environment variables and we can set environment variables. The difference is that in this section, we will add environment variables only for this instance. But if we create new instance on this app, like second server or something like that, we can set environment variables for both of these apps. One more thing we need to do is we need to head to our network section and press edit and add port as 3000 because SvelteKit with node adapter uses port 3000. So everything looks good for me. Let's close this 
and this and let's create an app so we just pushed our deployment and we will need to wait for deployment to complete we can go and see some logs and here we can see the process of how that happens we can see sometimes some warnings but they are mostly harmless if they are not critical and while the app builds i will show where you can add your custom domain you must go to the settings tab and seek for domains once the app will be deployed and successfully installed you can you will be able to add your custom domain before you can add it you will need some basic configuration but that's a topic for another video and here you go app deployed successfully so here is your domain you can edit it here you can add your domain if needed and we can check our runtime logs app is listening on port 3000 and we can check our app by clicking on this url and here you go that was that simple to deploy your SvelteKit app on DigitalOcean. Hit the subscribe button to not miss out on new videos. Leave a like. Check out the video description. Maybe we'll see something here and see you in the next one.